it's not very often you get to ride a trash wheel from the Chesapeake Bay into the harbor of Baltimore. My name is Adam Lindquist and I'm the director of the Healthy Harbor Initiative at the Waterfront Partnership of Baltimore. Having Gwenda arrive in the Baltimore Harbor today uh, is a huge milestone for the Waterfront Partnership and everybody who wants to see less trash in the Middle Branch. This was a phenomenal experience. We were helicopter circling. The pride of Baltimore fired off its cannons. We got a salute from Fort McHenry. It's always great to see the passion and enthusiasm from Trash Wheel fans all over Baltimore. Baltimore has become a leader in trash interception technology thanks to the trash wheels. But plastics in our waterways is a global problem. Other cities around the world are looking to bring trash wheel technology to their waterways. What is so unique about Baltimore is that it's just a city that really embraces the creative and artistic community uh, that allowed us to bring something like Mr. Trash Wheel to life. Well, one of the greatest things about the Trash Wheels is that they're not just intercepting trash, but we're using photos and we're using data to help pass legislation that will change people's behavior around trash and litter. We've already been part of a campaign to ban styrofoam containers here in Maryland, and we are currently working on a campaign to ban plastic bags as well, because these are some of the most common pieces of litter that we pull out of Baltimore's streams and harbor. We want to get even more people out on this beautiful waterway, because the more people who are paddling, the more people are interested in protecting and restoring our natural marine environments.